a capstone project presentation video of the National Basketball Association by Nicholas Barber. The National Basketball Association, or NBA for short, is a professional basketball league in the sports industry comprised of 30 teams across North America featuring the best basketball players in the world. The NBA was founded on June 6, 1946 at the Commodore Hotel in New York City. Maurice Podoloff was the league's first president, a title later changed to commissioner. Eleven teams were a part of the league, originally called the Basketball Association of America. Adam Silver is the present commissioner of the NBA, and the NBA's mission is to compete with intensity, lead with integrity, and inspire play by focusing on four key elements of the game, integrity, teamwork, respect, and innovation. The sports industry is a market in which people, activities, business, and organizations involved in producing, facilitating, promoting, or organizing any activity, experience, or business enterprise focused on sports. The five major team sports are basketball, baseball, football, hockey, and soccer. The sports market in North America was worth $60.5 billion in 2014 and projected to reach $73.5 billion by 2020. The biggest reason for such growth is the increase in revenue drive from media rights deals, which is predicted to surpass gate revenues as the sports industry's largest segment. Here is a look at the North America sports industry market by segment and also how the NBA fares against the sports organizations in 2016. The top earner, the NFL, took home $13 billion in revenue last season to lead all organizations. Ticket sales, merchandising, and TV broadcasting are the biggest components for how the NBA makes money. The NBA has a reputation for being the most innovative of the major professional North American sports. That's mostly out of necessity. The NBA was founded long after the others and had to spend decades catching up to its entrenched counterparts known as baseball and football. A significant portion of its revenue comes through merchandising. The players are their most profitable product, and the league is the first to consciously develop its most marketable players into global media superstars. Like other major sports leagues, television comprises the biggest component part of the NBA's business strategy. In 2016, the NBA struck a nine-year, $24 billion media rights deal with ESPN, ABC, and Turner Sports that allowed them to broadcast to every major populated continent, everywhere from Europe to Australia. What sets the NBA apart from others in the sports industry is their marketing prowess, and unlike other sports and leagues, basketball players in the NBA are the main reason the league succeeds. Although the NBA has generated over $15 billion in the last two seasons, fan viewership has slightly decreased. The reason being the driving force and product of the league, which are the players, are spending far too much time on the sidelines and not in the game. With the burst in technology and use of big data around sports, the league now has a very unique opportunity to capitalize on engagement of new fans globally and keeping its product healthy and on the court. With a new data solution plan, the NBA can continue to thrive and open up in new markets across the globe. Business intelligence will help the NBA collect significant amounts of player and fan data, which will help organizations and executives make better decisions. The bulk of NBA revenue comes from the television deals with multiple networks. It is crucial to have a great product, which are the league stars on the floor at all times for the national televised games. The NBA does not want to make the same mistakes as the last few seasons with players sitting out big primetime games. This could start a rift with brand partners, which would ultimately result in a huge decrease in revenue. The need for a solution to keep players healthy, fans watching, and partners happy should be the priority of the NBA, and the company stats can provide this relief. Data is the lifeblood of sports analysis. Before data was simply viewed as a record of the game's events that was kept either by the organizations or the responsible leagues for historical purposes. That data was used only to provide 
a brief recap of the game events through a newspaper box score. Now data can give competitive edges, increase fan base, and keep players healthier on the court. The NBA does not currently have a solution in place to take its tremendous amount of data and turn it into actionable decisions. Aside from adhering to the ever-changing collective bargaining agreement, another crucial aspect of the NBA's pastel analysis revolves around the opportunities of the company growth entering new markets globally and continuing its dominance socially. The NBA is known as the front runner for the sports industry when it comes to influence on pop culture. More than any other sports organization, the players from the NBA are able to brand themselves outside of the organization through fashion, tech startups, luxury brands, with the NBA receiving its share of the benefits. The NBA's influence on urban culture and fans are largely due to the leadership of Adam Silver, who is the commissioner of the league. He has no rules in place that restrict players from branding themselves, speaking on social issues, and speaking freely. Other leagues, such as the NFL, rule with an iron fist and put the company before the players, which has been one of the key components of lower viewership for the past three seasons. But the increase in player metric data gives the ability to make more actionable decisions. The NBA must become a business intelligence-driven company by implementing the BI solution. The NBA's top strength is its television contract with ESPN, ABC, and TNT. These companies provide national exposure, and the contract itself is a nine-year, $24 billion deal. This contract can also be seen as a weakness, opportunity, and threat due to its high impact and importance on the NBA's bottom line. The organization's top weakness is its high ticket prices. According to Statistica, the average ticket price to attend an NBA game is $57, and this is just an average. Quality seats can cost up to 500 on any night and more depending on which team you are going to watch. Here shows the graph for the weaknesses of the NBA. Average ticket price by team. I believe for the NBA to continue its climb to achieving the number one spot in the sports industry is predicated on a BI system that keeps the product on the court and exciting to watch as well as continue to tap into international markets to engage fans globally. The enthusiasm surrounding analytics has spurred other sports leagues like the NFL and Premier League to incorporate more technology to keep their number one product healthy and in the spotlight. RFIDs and other wearable sensors are being used to track player movements and gather data. By utilizing this technology, teams can use analytical data in order to enhance training regimens as well as the TV viewing experience for fans. By using statistics and new forms of data, the NBA should also be going down this path. Through the NBA Global Games and the popular faces of the league, the organization has socially put basketball at the forefront of sports. The current state of the NBA does not have a platform that allows these fans from other countries access to the out-of-market games of the players and teams that they love so much. Because of the time difference in countries around the world, it is imperative to have a platform that will engage fans both on and off the court. A platform where fans can have statistics and game information at the tip of their fingers. The NBA also has a problem with the sit-outs when they occur on nationally televised games. Players sitting out games is a big deal to the fans and their support. It's what makes the salaries possible because without popularity and people wanting to come to see the games, the NBA wouldn't be able to sell tickets. This would in turn lower the amount distributed back into the pockets of the owners and players. The biggest part of this equation are the TV networks. These networks sign deals for the broadcasting rights of the national TV games and expect a certain product standard. The broadcasting deal in 2014 led to an increase in the salary cap from 67.1 million to 89 million for the 2015-16 season and has hit 108 million for this 2017-18 season. This has led to greater player salaries with the average salary up to 5.15 million. If networks can't be certain that the best product will be given to them, they may want to reevaluate their TV contract. As well if fans cannot be assured that the best players won't be on the court, then maybe they will want a refund or stop going to regular season games altogether. 
if fans are not watching and stop coming to the games, there will be a decrease in player salaries. Players get about 50% of the shared revenue, which would leave the league very, very vulnerable. Ticket prices are already disliked by many fans, so paying that type of money for a potentially uncertain product is unacceptable. Below is a stat of the number of did not plays of the NBA over the last 11 seasons. The proposed system comes from the company Stats. Stats is the world's leading sports data and technology company, collecting and distributing data through sophisticated sports, APIs, and other data feeds. The company is trusted by top brand sports organizations around the globe to analyze performance data with unrivaled speed and accuracy. The stats solution uses sports view to deliver sports statistics by using real-time player positioning data to create data streams. This solution uses a six camera system and tracks player positional locations and body metrics such as body movements during the game. This tracking data is then integrated with the event data of the game itself. Through the information analysis enables teams and organizations to make decisions at all levels from practice to last second strategy. The solution also provides a platform to stream out of market games across the globe in different languages. This also allows the user the ability to track fans in the database and send team affiliated messages while giving space to advertise digital products. Fans want custom interactions with their favorite teams as well as the NBA itself. Making that happen requires data and analytics resources that stats can provide for the organization. For the stats solution, the implementation timeline will take about five to seven weeks. In this time, you will build a prototype to build the minimum functionality to prove the connectivity, allowing executives and users the ability to get to know the product and understand the endpoint. Transaction management is the next step known as the hardening process that will account for the durability of the integration. Questions like what happens when something fails and how do you back out of transactions will be addressed here. This can take up to 10 days. The next step would be test the prototype while also connecting it to the game data for the basic set of functionality. This will take approximately five days regardless of the endpoint. This can take four to five days. The last step, which is continued, is monitoring and alerts. The process of monitoring the integration includes adding game data alerts in real time. The current state of the NBA is that during the game, Data is being collected for typical categories only, but more in-depth analysis are needed to maximize player performance while keeping them on the court longer. There are no metrics for player movement, distance, or speed. Also, there is an increasing amount of injuries for players that has led to the highest number of DMPs or did not plays in the league's history. This has caused disputes of player resting, and as a result, this has led to a decrease in ticket sales and viewership of high-value nationally televised games. Factors causing this are the lack of data-driven technologies, i.e. cameras, sensors, and lack of sports analytic positions or departments. The future state and possible solutions are to adopt on-court sensors to collect player metric data to insist in training and injury prevention to also help inform coaches of the performance of their players or afterwards to inform future strategic decision making. The, the data collection process is based around stats sophisticated APIs from a six camera system which tracks the positional location of players and the ball during the game from small wearable tracking components. The system would be installed in the arenas and calibrated to track the movements of players and the ball through complex imaging processing algorithms. The data fields that are collected are speed and distance, touches and possessions, passing, defensive abilities, rebounding opportunities, and drives. The data sources are the NBA.com, Association for Professional Basketball Research, the International Association for Sports Information, the International Association on Computer Science in Sports. The representational state transfer APIs allow service administrators the ability to remotely perform tasks within service instances. 
It enables service administrators to automate many repeatable tasks, including import and export of meta metadata and data, refresh the application, run business rules on data, and copy data from one database to another. In order to maximize the data provided for player tracking data, the stat solution process combines data with play-by-play -play events. From this process, the user will have access to in-game reports and visualizations based on live data throughout the game. Formulas are connected, real-time tracking data to the official game feed also linked with the game clock and shot clock. Once the data feeds are linked together, data mining techniques are used to extract information that can be used. One of the widely used methods is PER, or Player Efficiency Rating. Player Efficiency Rating is a complex per minute rating of player effectiveness that rewards positive contribution and penalizes negative ones. This formula takes on many variables including assists, blocked shots, fouls, free throws, made shots, missed shots, rebounds, and steals. In regards to their pace throughout the game and the average performance level of the league. Another data mining technique is known as shot zones. Shot zones is a basketball court that is divided into 16 areas where a player on offense might be inclined to shoot a basketball. By analyzing the percentage of player success from each of these zones, defensive adjustments can be made to limit scoring while offensively coaches may try to maximize these types of shots. The figure illustrates the different shot zone lo locations. Knowing where players are successful and comfortable can lead to better offensive or defensive strategies. The graph below shows the monitoring and reporting of the stats solution. When deploying the solution, stats becomes a part of the organization. As seen with the NFL, stats has its own headquarters where the company takes care of the solution. There is no need for training costs or facility costs as the comp company does the heavy lifting. The support costs and personnel costs are for the developers needed to head each organization. Below shows the anticipated benefits of the solution. Decrease of player injuries is also an added benefit. The data that will be made available delivers overview of physical outputs that can provide weekly practice load predictions, recommend rest evaluations, and body positional comparisons to inform the training staff of how to cycle player rehab. This also increases fan engagement globally by providing a platform in different languages to suit all viewers. It can increase digital product marketing by the platform adding that feature. Also increases in player and team performance by showing all data of the team. And it also can increase viewership of nationally televised games out of market through the platform. The proposed solution has the potential to meet all of the organization's needs of capitalizing on fan engagement globally, player development and health, better business decision making, and keeping fans interested in the game. As stated, player injury and development are key issues in order to ensure the satisfaction of fans and more importantly, the TV networks. Through the use of wearable technology and the motion camera system, teams will be able to track player movement and use data to better understand what causes injury and how to prevent them, what a player's weaknesses are, and how teams can compete at a higher level. By keeping the product on the hardwood, fans are happy and network deals continue to increase. Streaming and merchandise are key for the NBA for reaching and, and engaging fans globally. This will generate more revenues for everyone involved as this solution provides a platform that allows teams to not only stream games in different languages across the world, but also provide space to advertise apparel, events, and partner brands of the NBA. Incredible amounts of data exist across all domains of sports. This data can come in the form of individual player performance, coaching or managerial decisions, and how well the team functions together. The NBA must green light the stats solution to use this data to its advantage to continue its soar to the top of the sports industry. Thank you for your time and your patience.